Hello everybody, this is Draining Gaming here to conclude the third trial. So here's the um, table as it stands. But yeah, I'm gonna have a hell, hell of a fun time separating you lot. <laughs> well, except for this lot, we're probably not gonna make it. But yeah, let's let's get on with it. Let's conclude the third trial and let's pick up where we left off. Right then. Representing Maastrician for this third trial, we've got Eocarcaria, a super Eocarcaria. Now, he's got a really interesting strategy here. Because he's gone for, gone for the awakening mode right away. So this is a very interesting strategy he's got for this guy. And we'll see how it works. Well, see how it plays out, I should say. Taking on the Eocarc, we've got the Gondwana Titan. Well, this guy's had a few victories, a few defeats. 50-50. If Maastrician does complete this trial, they will get the top seed in. In fact, I think if they get two points, they will go third. Oop, that's a tie. Oh yeah, he's got a tie attack, haven't he? Ooh, gets the first hit on the board. Right, here we go, this will be fun. Oh, it's a tie! Look at that! Look at that! I think this strategy is going to pay off. Ooh, maybe not. The Gondwana Titan gets the hit. Deathfire getting triggered there. So the odds are still in Master Shin's favour. But the Awaken Mode wasted. Oh, definitely. Unless Gondwana Titan gets the next hit. That is success for Maastrician, it unique strategy paying off. And that will also guarantee them the top seeding going into the last 32, last 16 round. So well done to Maastrician. Right, on to our next combatant. Okie dokie. Representing Nopi for this third trial, as you can see, we have got Tank. Pretty much a staple in their team, like Negrath is a staple in mine. Nopi currently sitting on seven points, past the first trial, got two from the second, so ideally wants to get at least two points just to get above that seven cap, because there are quite a few people that could finish on seven points. And as the table stands at the minute, seven, the guy in 17th place is on seven. So yeah, you want to get two points out of this at least. Taking on tank, we got the Fukui Soros. Oh, we got an anime clash. Let's see how this plays out. And if Nopi does pass this trial, they will go level with Carnotaurus Man, who currently sits fourth. And I don't know how I'm going to separate those two because they'll have the exact same record. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. That's a super duper impact. And it's probably going to do a super duper amount of damage. Boosh. Ooh, bet that hurt. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, Tank gets the next hit on the board. Boosh. And that will, in fact, secure the two points. So that's part A required net for Note B. Can they get the five? Ooh, another tie. Oh, I think they're going to. Well, they should. <laughs> oh, definitely. And that is a success for Nopi. And that puts them level with Carnotaurus Man. Okay, representing Convoy for this third trial, we have got a Magasaurus. 
convoy needs to get needs to get at least two points from this trial to hit that magic seven mark. But even then, seven points might not be enough. So ideally, they want to pass this trial. Taking on the Amargosaurus, we got Pachyrhinosaurus, the counter type specialist. I still want to see it one shot a water type with a lightning spear. <laughs> No bias in any way. Nothing personal. I mean, if you use a water dinosaur, it's your own fault. <laughs> but no, I, I think Conway will do it. I think he'll do it. I've just jinxed him, haven't I? Ooh, maybe not. No, Marcosaurus is a solid dinosaur. That It usually does well in my tournaments. I jinxed him. Oh, this is gonna be bad. The counter effect's gonna activate as well. And the Onyanguera dive. Oh, I'm so sorry, Convoy. I jinxed you. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Do I do more damage? Oh, oh, ne never mind. <laughs> oh dear. Unfortunately for Convoy, that's gonna be that. Wow. Ironically, killed by Amargosaurus, killed by a lightning spear. Seen that before, haven't we? Well, that was really unfortunate, and unfortunately for Convoy, not gonna see him in the last 16. Okay, representing Raybone for this third trial, we got, well, another Amargosaurus. <laughs> Raybone in an interesting position, actually, because they currently sit on four points. They failed both trials, so they do need to pass this trial. And if they do, they'll go into the last 16. So it is practically win or bust. Skip this guy. Well, another Amargus will it be another Amargosaurus for the Chop Chop? Or will Amargosaurus get revenge for the other Amargosaurus that died? I think it's gonna be the former. Well, Lightning Spear definitely gains some action in this video. Okay, yeah, it was a slight difference. Ah But this Amargosaurus learns from its mistake Oh, it's Neptune Street. <laughs> Learning from its mistakes, going going for scissors, because it knows the Pachy Rhinosaurus loves going paper. Uh, scissors, paper, scissors, rock. Whoosh. Yeah, this move doesn't really look natural on Sauropod. Unlike the uh, Sauropod animation, as I call it. Oh, the counter blitz has been triggered. I think that's half health. Although, interesting shockwave, the counter blitz will guarantee that the Pachyrhinosaurus lands some damage. So yeah, as per the rules, a Margie goes paper. As does Pachyrhinosaurus. Ooh! Actually, yeah, you'll do it. If, as long as I don't mess this up. Okay, I think that's going to do it. I think that'll be enough damage to uh, finish the... Uh, pa <laughs> Sorry, it's just concentrating, isn't it? Yeah. This will be enough damage. And that will be success for Raybo at the third attempt of asking. And that will put Raybo through to the last 16 round. Okay, representing Silver Knights for this third trap, we got the Santorurus. Well, it's win or bust for Silver Knights. They currently sit on two points, so they need to pass this trial to reach that set magic seven mark. Taking on the Santorurus, we got Fukui Source. Well, we've already seen this guy in this session. One, one, one. 
Hmm. This will be interesting. Two, two dinosaurs with similar strengths going at it. Although Fukuisaurus does have type advantage. And it does get the first hit on the board. Oop, that's a tie. Not a good start for Silver Knights. Ooh, but that crit will make up for it. Not really. Elemental power, though, will help. As will... Oh, excuse me. As will some Earth Barrier Edge. Good response, that. Good response. Well, there goes the Earth Barrier. Eaten up. Bum. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, there's a tie. Still, the Knight really needs to get the hit. Next hit. Another tie. Another tie. Oh, oh no, no, no more tie spatman. Although, this Decentral is tie type. Oh no, he's got the hit. Fukui saw has got the hit. And that's going to be curtain for Silver Knights. I mean, yeah, they'll get two points, but they ain't going to be enough. Unfortunately, no last 16 appearance for Silver Knights. Represent... Right then, representing... Clay Foliage for this third trial. We have got an Alpha Sukumimus. Clay Foliage has done pretty well so far. I believe they passed the first trial, went down like a lead balloon in the second trial, so yeah, they need at least two points from this trial to get a chance of that, to have a chance of getting to the last 16. And with Alpha Suka Minus, they might do it. Ooh, good hit there. Oh wow. <laughs> Needs to hit the crits, really. Oh, oh, it's Alpha Dart time. What's that time? What's that time? Say that time. It's Alpha Dart time. Boosh. Bonk. That was pitiful. Ooh, oh, it's Alpha Dice. Seeing all of the moves from the Super Minus. Oh, that's more like it. That's more like it. That's a five. And that's two points secured. Ooh, but the tacky rhinosaur is not going down yet. And surprisingly, Counter Blitz hasn't been triggered at all. Oh, that's going to do it. I think even if it lands on the stuffed toy, that's going to do it. Surely I'll do it. And that will be success for Clay Foliage. And that will see them through to the last 30, 16. Why do I keep seeing 32? <laughs> Don't even know my own tournament format. Terrible. But yep, yeah, well done to Clay Foliage. Okay, representing Storm for this third trial, we got Tarkia. Now what's interesting here is that if Storm passes this trial, They'll go up to 9 points, and that, as it stands, will put him in 16th place. And if that is the case, that does mean that 7 points is not going to be enough to qualify for the last 16. So yeah, really interesting turn of events here. It is so tight at the top, I, I, I don't even know how I'm going to separate you guys, honestly. So yeah, interesting. And that is a dream start. A mole attack right off the bat. Oh wow. Impressive amount of damage. Oh, it's maybe it's because this guy's heroic type. So yeah, this is actually a decent match for Tarkia here. Well, that's two points secured, but that's not going to cut it for Storm. They need five. Otherwise, they're going home. Another 
type. Ooh, danger zone now for the Tark. Oh, Fukuisaurus gets a hit. Final Fury's gonna activate. As for the Kratos effect, look at that! Oh, the Fukuisaurus! In a crisis! Shotted the Tark ta ta here into the ground. Right then, representing Black Beauty for this third trial, we got a Black T-Rex. Black Beauty currently sitting on seven points, but will want to get two points. If they get anything from this trial, then seven points will not be enough. Which will also indirectly knock out Aaron plays as well. Because they won't be able to get enough points. Right, well, we've seen Gone Wanna Titan a few times. So, yeah. Big, big, big matches these, these next couple of battles. Big battles. Oh, oh oops. <laughs> but that's Gondi off to the perfect start. The crit block off the bat as well. You know what that means? Gondi will be going for rock. Can't go paper. Oh, we're going to have to go scissors. Not a good start from Black Beauty. A slippy, slippy, slap, slap, kick. But remember, this Black T-Rex does have the death fire, so Black Beauty can snatch this with a death fire if they have to. Ooh, better response, that. Good crap. One at Titan gets the hit! And with the rush coming in as well, the, the paint the rock rock effect, that's gonna be all she wrote for Black T Rex. Badoosh. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? And unfortunately for Black Beauty, Gone Wanna Titan's HP was above half, so they will not get any points from this trial. Okay, representing Ultra Lord for this third trial, we got Armatus. Poor old Ultra Lord. Let's just press F in the chat for Ultra, Ultra Lord. Being the only contestant in this in these trials to not pick up a single point. So yeah, for that reason, they they already out. But we already knew that. Uh, we'll skip this because we've seen this guy. Wow, we've seen this guy loads of times in this session. So yeah, it has been a very tough experience for Ultra Lord in these trials. It is, but they're playing for a bit of pride. Get a bit of pride. Can they at least get some points on the board so they don't finish with nothing? But yeah, honestly, looking at their teams, I thought they'd do a lot better. I think it was the second trial, really. That's the one where I thought, yeah, they could do well because they they used an armor dinosaur, and we've seen Ar and we saw armor dinosaurs in the second trial do reasonably well if they get off the uh, the armor moves. But yeah, it just hasn't happened at all for Ultra Lord. But oh, you know what? I don't know if it's below half, but I'm gonna give it to him. I'll give it to him. Oh my god, a super impact. And this is going to leave a super dent in the armatus. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> you know what, I think that's below half. If it's not, I'm just going to give it to him anyway. I just feel bad at this point. Oh my god, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give him the two points. <laughs> wow. You know, that just sums him up in this trial. It just... They've just been so unluck un unlucky, and yeah. Commiseration, Soldier Lord. Okay, representing Team Allo for this third trial, we've got the Sorrow Faganax. Now, another interesting combat here. If Team Allo does pass this trial, they will leapfrog into Joint 7. And that, in turn, will knock out everybody who is currently sitting on 7 points. And Aaron plays as well, who, who can only get 7 points as a maximum. So that will actually establish our top 16. If if um, T 
Team Allo gets two points from this trial, they'll go level with the guys on seven points and make my life a lot harder. And if they fail, well, then they're out. <laughs> but let's see how this plays out. Ooh, there's a tie. Ooh, Fagonax gets the first hit. Oh, the crit! And that will give Team Allo at least the two points. And that puts him in a very commanding position to get all five. Ooh, not yet. And that crit block definitely makes things interesting. Ooh, oh, well. He's not getting death fire off, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, that's really early to get it off, though. I've gotta say, especially for Sora Fagonax. Right, so you know the crit block rules. Oh, it's a crit! Is it going wrong for Team Allo? Oh, look at this! I should point out, if this does end in a tie, that will put Team Allo through. Allo had it in the bag, but the Gone Wanna Titan proved it had plenty of heart and has defeated the Sorrow Fagonax and has kept all the guys on seven points in it. Wow. Wow. Team Allo could regret that. That could come back to bite them in the backside big time because they had that wrapped up. Right then, representing Aaron plays for this third trial, we got a Natter Titan. Well. This is a big problem because he's got to take on a Mega Raptor and Aaron Plays needs to pass this trial. And even if they do, that's still not a guarantee to get into the last 16 because they'll only go up to 7, they'll be level with the other guys on 7 points. And should he, should he somehow pass this trial, then he has to hope that Mr. Dinosauria doesn't get any points from their attempt. So yeah, two massive matches coming up here which will shape up how our last 16 will look. It's a tie. Another tie. I think ties will favour the Anata Titan though. Chipping away at that Mega Raptor's HP. Well, chipping away at its own. I mean, it's going to get blasted no matter what it gets hit by. If it, if it gets hit, might not even get hit. <coughs> so yeah, all you can do is just chip away at this Mega Raptor. Also, oh, that attack. I think that's attack burst, so that will definitely help. And as will Fawn Web. Can Aaron Plays do this? Gotta get through the Dino Illusion now. Ty. Now Ty's definitely favouring. Oh, it's a hit though. That's not good. That's not good. And a Cyclone. Well, when you face Mega Raptor, that's all it takes. That's all it could take is one hit to turn the screw. And, and it's basically invincible at the moment because it won't get hit no matter what. Oh, the Cyclone's going to do it. Oh, that's brutal. Absolutely brutal. They started reasonably well, but Aaron Plays is not going to get enough. You know, they get two points for trying, but yeah, not enough to get to that last 16 round. Right then, representing Mr. Dinosauria for this third trial, we have got an Orhinoceratops. This is it now, isn't it? All of you guys currently on seven points watching this with nervous anticipation of what could happen if Dinosauria who currently sits on seven points, gets at least two points, anything from this trial, then it will be game over for everyone on seven points. And Dinosauria will sneak into that last 16 round. Taking him on, we got the Sorrow Pelt that the Thai Specialist. We haven't seen it get off a sand trap yet though. Kind of disappointed in that. Oh, 
was the start he wants. That's a crit. Just the start. Dinosauria wants. And, oh my god, look at that. A tie will take Soro Pelter below half. Ooh, but Soro Pelter getting the next hit on the board. Ooh, ooh, another hit. Wow, Dino Smash. Everyone on seven points clinging on here. Clinging on by the skin of their teeth. Hoping for a miracle. And has that miracle arrived? Oh, look at this! Wow, this is it. This is all on this. All Dinosauria needs is anything. Anything, a tie, a hit, will, and he'll do it. Oh, that'll do it! Dinosauria failed, but the Sorrow Pelter's HP is was below half, so he will get two points. And those two points are colossal, and they will take him through to the last 16 round. Wow. What a way to finish the trials. Right, we'll have a look at the final table and see where everyone is grouped. Right, it's taken some doing. <laughs> it's taken me a while, but yeah, we have our final table, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, we have Maastrishan up top on 19 points. And we have Dexin Winters and Dino Fans on 14 points. I put Dexin above uh, Dino Fans because if I felt more impressive by the fact that they done that Dexin done Trial 2 and Trial 3 and in my opinion Trial 3 is harder than Trial 1. So yeah, sorry Dino Fans, but you still did really well. Then we have Nirvan in 4th place on 13 points. And then we have a very interesting situation between Nopi and Carnotaurus Man. Level on points, but yeah, I, I was slightly more impressed by Nopi. So yeah, sorry Carnotaurus Man, but you, you get 6th place. Which is still really good. And then again, we had a, f a three-way split between Heady, Clay Foliage, and MEJP10. And on my judgment, I was more impressed by Heady than these two. And then I was, But then I was more impressed with Clay Foliage than I was with MEJP10. So that's the order I've gone with there. And yes, these three are above Shy Guy and Dino Hunter because they completed two trials successfully, even though they have less points overall. And yeah, we have, and speaking of these two, we have Shy Guy and Dino Hunter. And yeah, I put Shy Guy above Dino Hunter because well, Dino Hunter only has 11 points because they have the two point head start because they finished in, in the top four of my last tournament. Right, and then we have a five way split between Asta, Raybone, Ultima Dino King, Dinosauria, and Keontae for nine points. I've put Asta above all of them on the basis that they completed trial three. And they collected points from all three trials. Whereas Raybone didn't get anything from trial one. But did get four points from trial two. And completed trial three. So I put Raybone above the rest. For that reason. And then and then again. I put Ultima Dino King above Dinosauria. Because I feel like Dinosauria scraped the nine points. But Ultima Dino King was a bit more convincing. And I think they did better in the third trial against the Mega Raptor. Which was a tougher matchup for them in my opinion. And then we have Keontae. Again, didn't get anything from Trial 3, only got 4 points from Trial 2. So I put them into 16. Now that we have our top 16 established, it's time for all, for you all to learn your matchups. So yeah, here's how I'm going to do it. So we have four blocks here. So we have Block A, which consists of the top four. Block B, which is 5th to 8th. And then Block C, and then Block D. And here's the matchups as follows. And the matchups will be randomly generated. Remember your number. These four will be number one. These four will be number two. These four will be number three. And these four will be number four. So yeah, you will have someone from block A going up against someone from block D. Well, you get the gist. I'm gonna I'll do I'll do the draw and you'll get the gist. So we will start with our A versus D match. So let's see who will play who. Okay, so up first we're gonna see ooh, number two. That is Dexin Winters. So Dexin Winters will take part in the first knockout match. And Dexin Winters' opponent shall be number two. So that will be Ultima Dino King. So, ooh, we're going to have Dexin going up against Ultima Dino King. Right, now for the B versus C matchup. Okay, oh, 
not number two again. <laughs> All right, we got Carnotaurus Man. Right, so Carnotaurus Man will take on number three. And that is Dino Hunter. So we're going to have Carnotaurus Man taking on Dino Hunter. Right, moving on to our D block. So up first, we will have number one. So number one, that's going to be Raybone. Taking on Raybone, we will see number two. So that will be Heady. So we'll have Raybone going up against Heady. Right, now for, this, now for C versus A. So that's number two. So that is Shy Guy. Taking on Shy Guy will be number two. And that will be Dino Fans. So Shy Guy versus Dino Fans. Right, we are halfway through our last 16 draw, so let's continue. So let's do D versus A, so let's find out who will face who. Okay, so that's number two, so that will be Keonte. And Keonte will take on number two. So it'll be going up against Navan. Ooh. Right, now for the CB matchup. we will see MEJP10 getting their call up. So MEJP10 and they shall take on number two. Clay foliage. Got there, got there in the end. And that and that actually should leave us our final two matchups of the last 16 round, which will be Nopi going up against Mr. Dinosauria and Maastrician taking on Asta. Well, that is our last 16 lineup, ladies and gentlemen. Some tasty encounters here. So I'll start off with Dexing going up against Ultimate Dino King, Carnotaurus Man taking on Dino Hunter, Raybone going up against Heady, Shy Guy taking on Dino Fans, Keonte going up against Navan, MEJP10 taking on Clay Foliage, Nopi going up against Mr. Dinosauria, and Maastrician taking on Asta. So yeah, are you happy with your draw? And who do you think is going to win out of these 16 combatants? Pop a comment down below. And then, and until then, ta-ta!